Well hi guys, welcome again today to Pool Moto here in the south of England and today we're, we're going to be taking out the Vosges 350 AC. Stay tuned. Well, hi there guys, Mark here, and welcome today again to a review on the Vosges 350 AC. So we'll just take a look round in the usual way, run through all the specifications, go for a little test ride through town, dual carriageways and some A roads, and just have a final thoughts at the end. And as always, many thanks to Paul Moto here in the south of the UK for lending me this bike today. So price, price on these, quite a reasonable £4,299 plus the on the road, 4299 So this, uh, if you don't know already, Vosges is a subsidiary company of Lonsin and uh, Lonsin makes some of the engines for the BMW 750s and others. Um, it's a very, very smooth running parallel twin in this, very, very smooth indeed. Um, 322cc double overhead cam liquid cooled eight valve and this produces 40 horsepower at 10,500 rpm so it's a very sort of smooth running free revving fun little engine this one 30 newton meters of torque at 9,000 rpm fuel tank on this 12.5 liters now I would be expecting very good fuel economy from this little engine, at least 60 to the gallon UK. So you're going to get around about 150 mile range, which is pretty decent. Seats, very plush, very comfortable, nice and supportive. It's not that tall. So if you're a new rider, you know, A2 license holder coming onto one of these as maybe like your first bike, you can get your feet down nice and easy. 780 millimeter seat height here. And just take a look at me on the bike as a reference for you i'm five foot seven tall with a 30 inch inside leg weigh about 75 kilos so just compare that for yourself So tyres on these is a 110 on the front and a 150 section on the rear, 17 inch wheels. We've got a very, very smooth shifting positive six speed gearbox. Weight on these, nice and light, 165 kilos unladen weight. You have LEDs all round. Very nice little dash on that, we'll look round later on. Single disc on the front, single disc on the rear, wavy disc, and looks like we've got a two piston sliding caliper there. And a single piston on the rear there, providing more than adequate stopping power. Upside down forks are non-adjustable, but set up absolutely fine for general road use. And we have a single monoshock tucked up in there, which is preload adjustable.
So just looking around the bike just initially, does look nice build quality. Um, do you like the sort of silver matte finish? It's also available in yellow. So it's quite a hotly contested sort of category, this one, this small capacity A2. There's a lot of good little bikes in this category. You know, MT03, Z400, KTM 390 Duke. But this one does ride very nicely and, and compares well. Top speed around about 95 miles an hour, I would say, with 40 horsepower. Okay, guys, let's go for the test ride. Hey, Vosges 350 AC. Let's try this out. So nice and easy to hop aboard. Um, the bike feels pretty much like a, a beefy 125, really. So physically quite small and nice and light. So ideal for uh, new riders if you're looking to get your first bike, or even just for you know a second bike as a run around. So just run through all the controls here. We have a cable-operated clutch, which is non-adjustable for span. Uh, all your standard sort of generic looking um, switch gear that you see on so many of these bikes these days. You've got your headlight pass, flasher, high and low beam, indicators and horn. Over the other side, front brake which is non-adjustable for span, um, engine kill switch, hazards and your starter. So nice and simple, nothing flashy about this bike, no riding modes, no electronic suspension, nice simple biking. So key is one of these ones where you can push the button. got a nice big clear colourful screen there showing you loads of information revs along the top speedo uh, engine temperature ambient temperature volts we've got all your trip meters and a clock so really nice big dash there so I say I'm five foot seven tall 170 centimeters and I can really e really easily get my feet flat to the floor and my knees are slightly bent so if you were quite a bit shorter than me this bike would still be fine for you which is good so start it up very easily it's got a lovely little parallel twin sort of throb. It's quite quiet, but still sounds really nice. Okay, so super, super light clutch, very easily into first gear, and oh, it just purrs along. Very, very smooth pulling away. Great. Okay, so out on the open road on the Vosges 350. And what a, what a lovely little bike this is, first impressions. It really is nice. So starting off with the, uh, the mirrors, decent size, nice and clear, no nasty vibrations. You can see about 30% of my elbows, but on the whole, a good, a good view behind. Nice dash there, lots of information. You can see my speed and revs and gears all at a quick glance, even in this bright sunshine this morning. So that's all fine. So, lovely little 322cc parallel twin, very, very eager. Um, the, a, a parallel twin is generally a bit sort of more revvy than a single cylinder. So it's incredibly smooth, even at sort of 6,000 revs we're doing now, can't hardly feel any vibrations at all. I'll just open it up a bit in top gear, look, there's just sort of 55. And there's your 60 so it pulls well in top gear but it's just the smoothness and it's a great fun little engine as well seat is very very comfortable very plush lots of room to move about and it sort of holds you in a nice position being sort of sculpted like that so uh seat is very comfortable definitely an all-day all day ride this, you could ride this all day. Riding position as an up, as a naked, nice and upright, and with a totally acceptable wind blast. Legs are a little bit back, slightly sporty, but they go into the tank nicely, it's very well sculpted. I think if you were taller than me, sort of five foot ten, six foot, you'd still get on fine with this. But what standout features for me so far is it's such a lively little bike, 
very very light handling it just feels like a 125 in terms of lightness the front forks and rear suspension are very compliant that's not harsh it was a very very comfortable supple yet sporty ride might just drop it down to fourth gear just wind it open a bit it's very very flexible engine all good in that respect all the switch gear it's just the usual simple to operate affair nice controls no problems there at all so we've got some real big bumps down here and it's soaking it up really well so we're fourth gear just opening it up look we're sort of 40 and there's your 50 so you can see it's very keen very free revving what you generally find with parallel twins so we'll just try a little brake test nothing behind front and rear together Ooh, ABS cut in then so as you can see single disc on the front but more than adequate performance second gear just sort of revving out through that mid-range very smooth and free revving it's great So, so far guys, first impressions on the Vose 350, a great fun little bike, easy to handle, very easy to ride, lovely suspension, and a super smooth, fun little engine. All right, let's uh, take it through town next. Okay, we're just coming to a little town now. I've got the Vosges in fourth gear, 30 mile an hour, just over 4,000 revs and very very smooth just purring along sewing sewing machine smooth so that's really impressed me with this bike i thought it might have been a little bit buzzier uh, with sort of nasty vibes but not at all very very smooth throttle response very very mellow not snatchy in the slightest really nice little roll on there Good visibility nice and upright and uh, very very easy sort of lightweight handling so if you're going to use this as a commuting machine maybe uh, no problems at all I would say very very light smooth gearbox and clutch so, so far this bike ticks a lot of boxes for me all the switch gears very easy and keen all the switch gear is very very light and easy it's just so easy and light on the handling very impressive but still slightly sporty as well so there you go guys low speed running on the Vosges absolutely fine all right so what's the Vosges 350 like up at the higher speeds on a dual carriageway it's just fourth gear just winding it out very smooth into fifth So up to an indicated 70 miles an hour with no problems whatsoever wind blast totally acceptable nice and steady speed nice and steady wind blast so at this 70 miles an hour the engine is still very smooth indeed all I can feel is the slightest but I mean slightest little buzz coming through the uh, the foot pegs but it's it's not not annoying in the slightest so that's very very impressive for a parallel twin they can get a bit buzzy so this is a uh, top marks for the uh, the smoothness of this engine so it's only a physically small bike it's light but even at this slightly higher speed it, it feels very safe very stable excellent so we'll just slow it down to 60 and we'll just wind open in top 66 and there's your 70 and it'll carry on and on 
but that's very impressively smooth. So if you had to do some higher, higher speed stints on the Vogue 350, no problem at all. It will sit here all day long. So top marks of the Vosges at the higher speeds. Third gear, just winding it out gently into fourth. And top gear. So just for gentle cruising like this, 60 mile an hour, we're just turning over at 6,000 RPM. But the bike is so smooth and so quiet, it feels very, very relaxed and unfussed. 60 mile an hour, nothing behind. We'll just try a brake test out again. Front and rear brakes together. Ooh, cool, they're strong. Very good. So, first gear. Yeah, it's got very, very snappy acceleration. So this is a really good bike if you wanted to do some commuting, have some fun around the twisties. It's comfortable enough for, you know, long days in the saddle. Um, I've got no aches or pains. Riding position's nice and upright. Suspension's really, really supple. We get decent in the corners. Really good fun actually around these bends. Tyres feel absolutely fine. So this is quite a hill here and it's pulling up very strongly even in top gear. Mirror is still nice and clear. It just responds to rider input so easily. You just sort of think it and it's round the bend. It's so light. You know, it reminds me a little bit of the um, Yamaha MT-03. Pretty much feels the same as that, really. Right, let's wrap it up here. Let's just see what it's like into first and neutral. So there's your first, and easily into neutral, first and neutral. That's all good. All right, I'll just leave it running. Nice, decent, easy to find side stand. Just going to show you the lights, high beam, and indicators. So there's your high beam. Oh, that's decent. Good indicators. And there's your rear light. Sounds decent, that's good. Well, Vos 350, must admit, that is a cracking little bike. What are your thoughts on that, guys? Let's just run through all the specs again and just look at all the build quality so upside down forks they give really smooth running they're well damped they're non-adjustable but absolutely fine as they are tires oh they're pretty warm give good grip looks like we've got a radiator guard there it's a nice touch so Vosges subsidiary group of Lonsin Lonsin make this pretty much and that engine looks really well made all the castings look good, all the nuts and bolts, all the fasteners. Frame looks good, welds all look pretty decent. Nice little touches like this, you know, it's just nice, looks good. High level exhaust system, you know, not everyone's taste. Some people prefer it down here a bit, but hey ho. Swing arm looks nice. Nice sort of shape to it. Very comfortable seat. I have taken that off. Unfortunately, nothing under there for storage. 
so off the side stand nice and light got a decent convenient handrail there and oh that is so easy to move about if you wanted to move that about in your garage or wherever so that's all good all looks nicely made there's your coolant there got a rear hanger there for the low level number plate there yeah that gets my vote the little Vos 350 so guys please post your comments down below give me a like share and subscribe to my channel and um, yeah if you're thinking about getting one of these um, you know if you're in the market for a small capacity you know a A2 class bike definitely give one of these a test ride I think you'll be very impressed with it it's smooth running handles nicely it's comfortable fun and it uh, looks decent build quality to me so guys please ride safe and um, I'll catch you again in a week or two for another review bye for now